I'm Catherine Bryan and I want to talk a little bit about posture today. Um, I personally get um, sometimes a little bit sore in my shoulders and neck um, just from the amount of playing that I do. So I wanted to share with you a couple of stretches that I find really, really, really helpful. Um, because we spend um, a lot of time like this um, with our sort of everything coming forward from our shoulders, um, my first um, stretch of choice would be bringing my arms right back so you almost feel kind of like um, like your shoulder blades are about to touch together or that you're holding a um, an apple between your shoulder blades. So you bring them right back and then release and give your arms a nice shake. That's a really, really nice one. You can do it actually standing in a doorway and bringing your arms up and then just stepping forward. That gives you the same, um, the same effect. The other one is um, kind of silly, but um, we spend our days with our arms like this. So I like to do the opposite and actually take my arms into the reverse um, flute position to the left hand side rather than the right. And just let your arms just sit there for a moment and, and feel what it's like to be in reverse. Because again, it's just reversing the stretch. Um, but I think it's really important just because our, our playing posture is so lopsided. Um, Obviously rolling the shoulders is also really, really good. And just lifting them, holding them and releasing. Um, anything that just gets this part of the body moving because our posture as, as flute players is so static. Anything we can do to just release um, those muscles um, is really great. Okay, so now we've done some stretching. Let's think about our posture when we're playing. For me, it's really important that we're not hunched over. Um, we have a really nice tall stance, um, much like a really great opera singer. You never see them kind of um, all curled up. They're very, very tall um, and because it gives their body the most chance of being resonant. And it's the same for a flute player. So nice and tall when you play. Keep your chest lifted, your head lifted enough, um, not from the neck, but really from your whole body. So you're kind of just giving yourself a little bit more height. Feet flat on the floor so that you're not kind of um, putting all your weight on one foot or the other foot, really nice and even. And then as we bring the flute up, we want to just have slightly more than sort of 90 degrees to the floor. So you're just slightly above that. And that will give your sound the, the best chance of projecting um, and being really, really, um, round, open, warm, um, rather than being squashed if your head's down and therefore the airstream will be a little bit too low. So just keeping as open as you can. Finally, just um, a word about our arms when we play, um, especially if you're adopting a more lifted posture than you've been used to. Be careful that your arms don't kind of come up with you. Um, it's very easy to do that and that puts a lot of tension into the shoulders by, by lifting the arms up. So we want to imagine that almost you've got weights in your elbows and your arms can sort of feel like they're hanging on the flute somewhat. And that means that you're nice and relaxed, you're not going to put, be putting any, any stress on the muscles in the arms because we want them to be loose enough that your, your fingers can be free and there's no tension kind of carrying through the arms into the fingers. I hope you really find that your, your posture is comfortable and that you can make the best possible sound. If you need any more inspiration, go and watch a fantastic singer. They have posture that every flute player should be adopting.